Okay, while the fire gets going, time to tell you what we're doing. We're going to do more adventures in pie iron cooking. You may have seen the video I did about a year ago. I decided to try out some new recipes. Hope you enjoy it. For our first recipe, we're going to make a good old fashioned egg sandwich. We're going to dress this up with some hickory smoked spam and some cheddar cheese. I've already pre-scrambled up the eggs and we will see how this tastes. Now it's been years since I've had spam and I just rediscovered it. And since the last time I had spam, they've come out with all kinds of new flavors. So I did decide to try this hickory smoked flavor. One of the things I'm going to do is cut this into very narrow pieces because it does seem to have a lot of flavor on the Spam. I'm trying to cut it very small. So now that we got some coals going, we're going to warm up our pie iron. We want to get that nice and warm before we put anything in it. Now that we've preheated that pie iron, we're going to put in a couple pieces of Spam, throw it right back in the fire. Okay, now that the Spam is all fried up, we're going to add one scrambled egg to this. Next, we're going to try and flip it over without losing too much egg. Lost a little bit, but I think most of it's still in there. We'll check in a minute. Let's take a peek. Ah, oh, that's looking good. Next, we're gonna melt some butter, put it in the pie iron, so our bread will have something to sit on. Now I like this cheesy on both sides. Put the egg on top. Put some butter on the other side. Squeeze it together and put it back on the fire. Let's see how it's coming along. Ah, uh, nice. Let's see the other side. Almost there. Okay, let's dump this out. Oh, it's nice and crispy. And there we go. Spam, egg, and cheese from the pie iron. Time for the taste test.
I'm really happy I cut that Spam so thin. It's not overwhelming with flavor from the Spam. You can taste the eggs, the bread, the cheese. It's all really good. The next recipe we're gonna try is cinnamon rolls with apple pie filling in the center. So my understanding is we try and put one cinnamon roll on the bottom, one on the top, and stuff it with yummy apple pie filling. As usual, the first thing we want to do is to get a nice bed of coals and warm up our pie iron. While that's warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon, 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 cinnamon rolls. And I think what I'm gonna do is try and flatten them out a little bit. I may even try and use more than one in a side. Squish them together, maybe. We'll go ahead and open up the apple pie filling. And let's head over to the fire. We are definitely nice and hot. Spray them down. Put it back in the fire. Uh, that's looking delicious. Let's go ahead and cut this. Boy, does that look delicious. Only thing it's missing So, with the taste test, my wife said it was a little bit doughy and it either needs to cook slower or we may try something a little bit different. Take the apple pie filling and we'll cut it into little pieces and mix it into the Cinnabon and do one layer inside of there. We'll try that next. As always, I really appreciate it when you hit that like button.